Why are Sigma males giving up on friendships? Is it a conscious choice or a consequence of their nature? This question has been making the rounds in social and psychological circles, sparking debates and discussions. But before we dive into the crux of the matter, let's take a step back and understand what we mean by Sigma males. Sigma males, a term that's been catching attention lately, represent a unique category within the socio-sexual hierarchy. They are the lone wolves, the wanderers, the ones who march to the beat of their own drum. They are not leaders like alphas, nor are they followers like betas. They are in a league of their own, preferring solitude and introspection over social gatherings and small talk. But does this introverted non-conformist nature of Sigma males translate into a lack of friendships? Are they consciously choosing to opt out of the camaraderie and companionship that friendships offer? Or is their solitary disposition a mere consequence of their inherent nature? These are the questions we aim to explore and dissect as we delve deeper into the enigma that is the Sigma male. By understanding their thought process, their behavior, and their motivations, we can gain insights into why many Sigma males seem to be distancing themselves from friendships. Are they rejecting the concept of friendship altogether, or are they simply redefining it to suit their own terms? Are they avoiding social connections due to some inherent personality traits, or are they just not finding the right kind of people to connect with? As we embark on this journey of understanding, we will examine the nine reasons that shed light on why Sigma males might be stepping away from friendships. From their fierce independence and self-sufficiency, to their aversion for small talk and selective socializing, each reason will provide a unique perspective into the Sigma male's mind. So, fasten your seatbelts and get ready for an insightful exploration into the world of Sigma males and their unique approach to friendships. Let's dive into the nine reasons why Sigma males are distancing themselves from friendship. Firstly, Sigma males value their independence. This isn't about being a lone wolf or some kind of renegade, it's about having the freedom to make their own decisions, to chart their own course in life. Let's take an example of a Sigma male named John. John loves his friends, but he's not one to constantly seek their company. He prefers to spend his time alone, immersed in his thoughts, exploring new ideas, or simply enjoying the tranquility that solitude provides. This isn't because he dislikes people. On the contrary, he values deep, meaningful relationships. But he also understands that to maintain these relationships, one often has to make compromises to adjust and alter one's own preferences. For a Sigma male like John, this can feel like a restriction on their independence, an encroachment on their personal freedom. Their independence often leads them to solitude, away from the demands of friendship. Secondly, Sigma males are self-sufficient. This is not just a trait, but a lifestyle choice, a conscious decision to stand on their own two feet, devoid of external support, Picture a Sigma male, let's call him John. John thrives on his own, not out of necessity, but out of preference. He enjoys the freedom that self-sufficiency offers, the ability to make his own choices without the need to consider others. John isn't antisocial, rather he values his solitude, finding comfort and peace in his own company. He has built a life around this principle, a life that is self-contained, self-directed, and self-fulfilling. From his career to his hobbies, John relies on his own skills, judgment, and resources. He doesn't need a group of friends to give him a sense of purpose or to validate his worth. This self-sufficiency often reduces their need for friendships. John, like many Sigma males, is a testament to this. Thirdly, introversion is a common trait among Sigma males. This isn't to say they're antisocial or shy, but rather that they find energy in solitude and introspection. This can affect their approach to friendships in a variety of ways. Take, for example, a Sigma male at a party. While others enjoy the buzz and camaraderie, the Sigma male might find himself drained, seeking out quiet corners for some respite. Or consider a Sigma male on a weekend. Instead of making plans with friends, he might opt for a solo hike or a good book. This isn't a rejection of companionship, but rather an expression of their need for solitude and self-reflection. Sigma males can form deep and meaningful relationships, but they do so on their own terms, often favoring quality over quantity when it comes to friendships. Their introverted nature often leads them to prefer solitude over social interactions. Fourthly, Sigma males tend to be non-conformists. 
This aspect of their personality is a key factor in why they often give up on friendship. As non-conformists, Sigma males are not inclined to follow the crowd or adhere to societal norms. This often includes traditional forms of friendship. Consider the case of Alex, a quintessential Sigma male. Alex is a free thinker, unafraid to question the status quo. He finds himself at odds with societal expectations, including the perceived need to maintain a large circle of friends. In fact, Alex prefers solitude and meaningful one-on-one -on -one interactions over superficial group dynamics. He doesn't see the point in maintaining friendships that don't satisfy his desire for depth and authenticity. This might seem odd to some, but for Alex and many Sigma males, it's just their way of being true to themselves. Their non-conformity often leads them to reject traditional friendships. Fifthly, Sigma males are low maintenance. This trait is another reason why Sigma males often choose to give up on friendships. Unlike many others, Sigma men are not dependent on constant interaction or validation from others. They are comfortable in their own company, and they value their solitude. Consider this scenario. A typical person might feel a sense of emptiness or loneliness if they don't engage in regular social interactions. They might need constant reassurances, the sharing of experiences, the exchange of ideas. But for a Sigma male, this is not the case. They are self-fulfilled. They don't need someone else to validate their thoughts or their choices. They don't need a friend to share a movie or a meal with to enjoy the experience. This independence and self-reliance mean that friendships, with their inherent expectations and demands, can often feel like more of a burden than a benefit to a Sigma male. Their low maintenance nature often makes friendships seem burdensome. Sixthly, Sigma males value self-reflection. This isn't just about having a quiet moment to themselves, but a deep and profound journey into their own minds. They crave the space and solitude that allows them to introspect, to explore their thoughts, their feelings, their motivations and their goals. Take the story of John, for example. He's a classic Sigma male who spends more time in his home library than at social gatherings. He prefers to dive into the world of books, letting the words of others spark new ideas and perspectives in his mind. This doesn't mean John is antisocial, but he finds more value in these introspective moments than in casual conversations. Or consider Sarah, another Sigma. She opts for solo travels, using these experiences to understand herself and the world better, rather than spending her time in social circles. Their tendency for self-reflection often leads them away from friendships. They are not running away from social connections, but rather, they are running towards a deeper understanding of themselves. Seventhly, Sigma males generally dislike small talk. This characteristic is often misinterpreted as aloofness or indifference, but it's simply a preference for meaningful conversation. Imagine being at a party where everyone is discussing the weather, the latest celebrity gossip, or the newest viral trend. For a Sigma male, this kind of chatter can feel like a draining exercise in futility. They thrive on intellectual stimulation and deep exchanges, a chat about philosophical concepts or innovative ideas. Now that's more their cup of tea. However, small talk often serves as the gateway to deeper connections in social circles. It's a stepping stone that Sigma males tend to skip, which can make relationship building somewhat challenging. Their preference for skipping the pleasantries and diving straight into substantial topics can be off-putting to some creating a barrier in forming new friendships. Their aversion to small talk often makes friendships seem superficial. Eighthly, Sigma males are selective socializers. They're not the type to engage in social activities for the sake of it, nor do they entertain superficial connections. Instead, they choose to invest their time and energy in meaningful interactions, in relationships that stimulate their minds and enrich their lives. Consider this. While most people might attend a party to mingle with as many people as possible, a Sigma male would rather have a deep conversation with one or two individuals. They appreciate quality over quantity. They seek genuine connections, not fleeting moments of small talk. This isn't to say Sigma males are antisocial, rather their socializing is intentional. They value their solitude, but they also value their relationships, and so they are selective choosing to form bonds with those who resonate with them on a deeper level.
their selective socializing often results in fewer friendships. But for the Sigma male, these are friendships of substance, of quality, and this is what truly matters to them. Lastly, Sigma males are emotionally self-reliant. This is a trait that sets them apart significantly. Their emotional resilience and self-reliance stem from their deep introspection and understanding of their own emotions. This is not to say that they don't have emotions or they're immune to emotional distress, but rather, they have a strong ability to manage their feelings independently. Imagine a seasoned sailor navigating the stormy seas. He doesn't panic or seek help at every wave that rocks his boat. Instead, he stays calm, understanding that the storm is part of the journey. Similarly, a Sigma male navigates through the storms of life, managing his emotions with wisdom and maturity. This emotional self-reliance can sometimes reduce their need for the emotional support that friendships often provide. They appreciate the value of a good friend, sure, but they don't rely on them to navigate their emotional world. Their emotional self-reliance often makes friendships seem unnecessary. But remember, unnecessary doesn't mean unwanted. In conclusion, Sigma males are unique individuals with characteristics that often lead them away from traditional friendships. This journey we've embarked on together has taken us through the nine compelling reasons why Sigma males are redefining the rules of engagement when it comes to friendships. We've delved into the independence of Sigma males, their innate ability to stand alone and thrive, and how this characteristic often leads them to opt out of friendships that demand high levels of interdependence. We've also explored their self-sufficiency, their ability to meet their own needs, which reduces their reliance on friendships for emotional or material support. We've discussed their introverted nature, their preference for solitude over social gatherings, and how this often results in a smaller circle of friends. We've looked at their non-conformity, their propensity to go against the grain, which often leads them to avoid friendships that require conformity to group norms. We've examined their low-maintenance lifestyle, their ability to maintain their well-being with minimal external input, and how this often leads them to avoid friendships that demand high maintenance. We've reflected on their self-reflective nature, their ability to introspect, and how this often leads them to prefer solitude over socializing. We've delved into their dislike for small talk, their preference for deep, meaningful conversations, and how this often leads them to avoid friendships that thrive on superficial chatter. We've pondered over their selective socializing, their ability to choose when and with whom they socialize, which often leads them to maintain a small, selective circle of friends. Lastly, we've considered their emotional self-reliance, their ability to handle their emotional needs independently, and how this often leads them to avoid friendships that demand emotional dependence. Sigma males are not anti-friendship. They are simply selective, independent, and self-sufficient. They value deep connections over numerous acquaintances and prefer quality over quantity. Understanding Sigma males and their approach to friendships can foster better understanding and acceptance of their choices.